Hello sports fans, welcome to Super Sports Central. Today, we're going to be going over my Euro 2024 predictions. So before I get into my predictions, a quick disclaimer. I don't really watch soccer, but I do watch international soccer and enjoy watching it. So I don't really know that much about each team or any really players. But I do enjoy predicting tournaments. I did pretty well predicting the Euros back in 2020 or technically 2021. But I decided let's try it again. And I'm probably going to say things that are completely wrong, so be sure to correct me in the comments. But getting into the predictions, going group by group, going to start at four in the group and work our way to the top. Beginning in group A, so this is a pretty difficult group for me because I really don't know a ton about each team. Two through four is a very difficult order to predict. And as I said, I don't really know much about these teams in this group. So fourth and third, I'm just going to go with my gut feeling, and that's Hungary in fourth. And Scotland in third, although I have seen a few people say Scotland could be a potential dark horse in this tournament. Second, I'm going to go with Switzerland. They've made the knockout stages in each of the past two European championships. And I think they'll extend that streak. And the only sure thing in Group A is Germany. The hosts, they're clearly the best team in this group. A lot of people think they could potentially win the entire tournament. I've got them uh, winning Group A. Moving to Group B, this is another difficult group. I actually know a decent amount about some of these teams. Um, getting the easy out of the way first, Albania in fourth. They could be decent, but they're going up against three really tough opponents. Then, it gets interesting after Albania, because you have three really good teams. You have Spain, who's always good, Italy's the defending European champions, and then Croatia, who's been really good in big tournaments lately. But third, I am going to go... With Croatia. Now, as I said, they have been very good in big tournaments. Came third in the World Cup in 2022, second in the World Cup in 2018, and has made the round of 16 each of the past two Euros. But I've got Croatia third in Group B because I think they've gotten a little bit older, and I think they're still a solid team, and I definitely think they'll be one of the four third place teams that advances, but I've got them third in a tough group. Second in this group, I'm going to go with Italy, the defending European champions. And then winning the group, we have Spain. Moving to Group C, this is another difficult one to predict. Uh, at the bottom, I've got Slovenia. So this is their second Euro ever and first since 2000. They just don't have the experience in these big tournaments. I could maybe see them with a point, but I'd be really surprised if Slovenia advances. Third in Group C is tough between Denmark and Serbia. I really am not that sure. don't know a ton about either team too much. I'm going to go with Serbia in third and Denmark in second, though, which leaves England to win Group C. They're one of the best teams in the tournament, one of the teams I probably know the most about. Uh, they're actually the favorite coming into the Euros to win the entire thing. I think it's pretty clear they win Group C. Moving to the bottom half here, or Group D. This is another pretty tough group, but there's four good teams here, but I think there's two clear top ones. Last, I'm going to go with Austria, as they're definitely a solid team, but I think they're the bottom of the four teams here. Poland will finish third. They actually needed the, an extra playoff to get into this group and make the tournament, but they did so. I still think they're a good team, and they might be able to make it out as one of the four yeah, four best third-place teams, but I definitely think they're behind the Netherlands and France. Netherlands will finish second in Group D. They are a good team, a lot of potential this tournament. I don't know a ton about them, but I think they are a pretty good team from what I can tell about them, although I don't see them beating France for the group. And then I've got France winning Group D. I think they're one of the best teams in the tournament, and I think they've got a really good chance to win it, and I think that starts with winning, with winning the group. Moving to Group E, so I don't know a ton about three of the four teams here, and uh, because I don't know, I'm just going to kind of go with the gut feeling again. We'll go Romania fourth, then Slovakia third, Ukraine second, and then we will have Belgium winning Group E. I definitely think Belgium is the best in this group. They have disappointed recently in tournaments, didn't make it out of the group stage at the World Cup in 2022 lost in the quarterfinals in the most recent European championships, and that was a tournament where they were one of the top teams. I believe I actually picked them to win the Euros that year. But 
despite the recent disappointment for Belgium, I still think they should top what should be a pretty easy group for them. And then the final group, Group F. Uh, fourth place in this group, I'm going to go with Georgia. It's their first time ever making the Euros. And I think they'll have a tough time having success in their first ever European Championship. Uh, second and third is a coin flip, but I'm going to go with Czech Republic. Oh, sorry, Turkey in second and Czech Republic third, which leaves Portugal to win the group. As, again, Portugal is another one of these top teams that I believe are one of the best in the tournament. And that leaves us with our four best third place teams. Four of them move on. Uh, the other two are knocked out. And I'm going to go with uh, Croatia, Serbia, uh, Scotland, and Czech Republic. So continuing on to the knockout stage. Beginning in the round of 16. So I know I actually went through the group stage kind of quickly. But I explained essentially what I know about each team. And because I already went through all the teams, I'm going to try to run through these pretty quickly, but without rushing through them. Uh, Spain and Scotland. Again, a lot of people think Scotland could be a dark horse, but I'm going to go with Spain. Germany and Denmark, I will take the hosts to advance. Portugal and Serbia is an interesting one, but I'm going to take Portugal. Then I will take Never the Netherlands over Ukraine. Belgium and Croatia, they were actually in the same group at the World Cup and played to a scoreless draw. But I'm going to take Croatia to advance in this one, although that's a pretty tough one to predict. Then I've got uh, France over Turkey, England over the Czech Republic, and this is another tough one, but I'm going to go with Italy to advance and actually set up a rematch of the Euro 2020 final. Going back up to the top in the quarterfinals, we've got Spain and Germany. Another matchup where the two teams were in the same group at the World Cup. Uh, I really... Don't know for this game, but I think both teams are pretty good, but I'm going to go with the hosts to advance. And Portugal and the Netherlands is another one that I really don't know, but a gut feeling tells me the Netherlands. Then Croatia and France is a rematch of the 2018 World Cup final, and I'm going to go with France. And then England and Italy, a rematch of the Euros from 2020, as I said. Uh, I'm going to go with England this time. So down to our final four teams, we've got England and France. And then Germany and the Netherlands. I'm going to go with Germany to advance. They're one of the best teams in this tournament. And as I said before, some people think they could win the entire thing on home soil. I've got them advancing to the championship with a win over the Netherlands. And then France and England. I think the winner of this one has a very good chance to win the entire tournament. Obviously, we saw this in the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Harry Kane missed a huge penalty. And France advanced. I'll take the same result. France moves on to play Germany in the final of Euro 2024. And this is uh, the championship, obviously. I'm going to take France. I think they're the best team in Europe, obviously winning the Euros. Uh, they didn't make back-to-back -back World Cup finals, winning one of them for no reason. I think they have arguably the best player in the entire tournament, Julian Mbappe. And I think they're the best team in the entire tournament. And France are my Euro 2024 champions. But those are my predictions for Euro 2024. As I said, I don't really watch a ton of soccer outside of international soccer. So if I got something completely wrong, I won't know in the comments. I'm willing to learn and definitely think I will learn a lot watching the Euros. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any other upcoming videos. I do my best to post as often as possible. I will know in the comments who you think will win Euro 2024. But thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications. I do my best to post as often as possible, and I will see you in the next video.